Happy Easter. I rose from the bed. No, but seriously though, happy Easter. <laughs> I know this is going up the Monday after Easter, but that's okay. It's the same thing, girl. He has risen. He conquered the grave. Okay, so to start off with today, we're going to be using, we're going to be using the Natasha Denona Star Palette. And if you don't know what this is, it's an incredibly, incredibly, and this is coming from me, incredibly expensive palette. Army. And uh, as you can tell, I'm wearing very flowery, very pinky and yellow and stuff like that. And I just wanted to do like a really pretty, like pinky girly eye for today. Um, it's Sunday when I'm filming and we gonna match my face up with my neck and the rest of my body. <laughs> And um, just have a little bit of fun with this. So let's get into it. Well, to start off with, I'm going to prime my eyelids. Um, I'm just using a concealer. Anyone will do. Um, and then I'm just going to buff it all over with my beauty sponge. And then we're going to set it with either a setting powder or a nudie. I actually have my soft glam palette out already. So I'm just going to go in with tempera. This is lighter shade right here. And I'm just going to put this all over the lid. Okay. So, this is what the palette looks like. So, it's like this really pretty. And I think I'm going to focus more on this side. But I think I'm still going to use some stuff from this side. Just because, I mean, it's not a huge palette. I guess it is. I don't know. Anyway, so what I'm going to end up doing to start off the crease, um, y'all know I like smaller blending brushes that are kind of fluffy to first focus that color in the crease. And that just sort of builds and then we can start blowing it out and start adding some other, adding some other colors in there and stuff. So what I'm going to end up doing is first I'm going to start off with, what shade is this? It has like this little plasticky thing. I'm going to start off with Vega, which is this really pretty pink up in the top. And I'm just going to start working this in my crease. This is very, very light shade, so it's not like it's super, like, pow of color. This brush is a tiny bit dirty from something else, too, so. We have a slight warmer, orangier tint to it than we probably would have normally. <laughs> Oops. I meant to clean my brushes last night, and honestly, the time I got home, the time I put on soft tanner, I was already done. I was done and done. Got home late, I wasn't about to go clean brushes. That was the last thing on my brain at all times. And now, I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna slightly go a little bit larger, pick up another Luxie blending brush. This one's looks a lot fatter, especially since I just rubbed it around on my hand. And I'm gonna pick up this shade. Oh my gosh, how do I pronounce this? Attic? Maybe? Attic? I might be pronouncing that wrong. It's A T I K. I don't know. It's a star palette, so I'm sure it's all sorts of star constellations and stuff that I don't even understand. And I'm just focusing this on the outer part, building that up, making it darker. I did this eye actually a little while ago. It's kind of like a berry tone. I thought it'd just be really pretty and springy. Um, I've just been playing with color so much, honestly. Um, I've either been into like super, super sultry, smoky eyes or I've been into like insane colors and today we're just gonna do something pink and girly probably some sparkles thrown in there this palette has some of the prettiest eye, most eye-catching um, sparkles in it and I'm just gonna end up softly building up this crease then adding those berry tones in and then we'll go in with our sparkly shade I'm going to say, because this palette is so expensive, you expect a certain quality, and it is there. Like, these mattes blend seamlessly. Like, 
they're just so seamless like I can I barely have to blend them and it's already like they're just blended out on my face but there's still color there's not like some weird like skipping happening or any of that and I really appreciate that because eyeshadow is like my favorite thing um, and actually gonna keep building this up there's this other Titania I think I y'all don't ever it's Titania right right I don't know that's the shade that I'm using and it's slightly darker than the one we just used a little bit more brown versus pink and I'm just gonna focus this on the outside and fluff it towards the middle What we're actually going to end up doing is I'm going to use this packing brush. This is by SL Missy Glam. And it's kind of like this angled, it's a little bit fluffy, but it's still like an angled brush. It's rather dense. And I'm picking up Electra, which is this super pretty, like purpley pink, almost Barney shade. And I'm just going to stamp this on the outer portion of my eye sweeping it in toward the lash line and keep picking up color as I build. I'm picking up the shade Phoenix next, which is this, it's a little bit shimmery, so it's not full on matte, and I don't think you're really going to notice that, so I'm just packing this onto this brush, stamping this on over uh, Electra that we used, and that's adding to that purpley orchid color, and it's just going to tie in with the flowers on my dress, and just look super pretty for sporting. And I'm taking that fluffier brush that we had before and I'm picking up that same Vega shade, that really light baby pink. And I'm just going to be fluffing this over those lines up here just to help blend out and marry the two together. Now for the next part. Now her shimmers and glitters and everything are like true glitters. And for that, um, I've noticed that I have to apply them with my finger, and I also have to use a glitter glue, otherwise they just kind of fall over my face. They probably still kind of will fall over my face, but <laughs> a little bit less, maybe, than it would before. And I'm taking this, like, dense, flat brush, and I'm just gonna pack this little glitter glue on the lid where I want my shimmer to be. And now I'm picking up my finger, and I'm actually going to go in with, I'm going to go in with, oh my gosh, how do you pronounce this word? Pol Polaris? Why do I get palettes? It's this shade right here. You can see how pretty that is. It's like a really, really soft, um, silvery pink. I'm just going to pack this right on over that glitter glue and just keep packing it on until I'm satisfied. And now what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to pick up go <sighs> these names I swear I should just point honestly I think it's Galaxia 
It's this really, really pretty, it's like a little bit softer, it's a little bit more silver, it's a little bit brighter, but it's still got that pinky reflect, and this is so pretty too. And I'm gonna pack this on the middle, give us a brighter center, and I think I just, yep, I definitely just poured glitter in my coffee, so that's cool. I'm gonna go in with this angled brush and I'm picking up uh, Electra and Phoenix again. And I'm just gonna pack this on back over and kinda go over those lines. So I kinda went into that pinky purple. And I think that's gonna go ahead and just finish up the top. And so I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and I'm gonna wipe away all this glitter that we have fallen. And now we're gonna go in with primer and I'm using my Dr. Prance Pores No More Luminizer Primer. Um, I actually heard Tati talking about this and she said she hated it. And I actually really enjoy this. I wasn't overly happy when I got it in my BoxyCharm because she had talked about it so recently, just being like a really sucky primer basically. Or I guess she was just saying she didn't really see the point of that, but honestly, I think it works so well, or at least on me. So I don't know, maybe it's just her skin type. Okay, and because I'm self tanned, we're gonna go with some tan shades today. So I'm using my LA Girl Pro coverage in Fair, and I know that doesn't sound tan, but would you look at this? I mean, it's like orange. And then I'm going to be adding my um, drops of Too Faced Born This Way in the color Sand. And that's usually like a nice tan shade. Like I'll put one or two pumps of this on the back of my hand. And because I use my darker tanner, I'm going to be putting two pumps of sand in there. And just swirling it about. And then I'm going to buff it all over my face. And then we'll be done with foundation. Alrighty, and what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to start with my contour and then we're going to go to concealer and then set everything. So um, I'm using my e.l.f. Um, what are the Skull Cream Contour Palette? And I'm picking up my usual shades, which are the lightest and that middle shade. And I'm just going to take these and run them up underneath the cheekbones, my nose, and then a little bit underneath my lip. And now I'm going to use my concealer and just paint in the areas that I need some brightening, which are always underneath my eyes and down the bridge of my nose. I'm going to do a tiny bit on my forehead just to keep that brightening. We're going like the full tilt boogie today. So. And to set my face, I'm going to be using the number 7 uh, translucent powder. 
And I'm just gonna go in to the normal areas with my beauty blender. It's like this T-zone kind of through here. And then I'll probably set the rest of my face with a, oh crap, that was a lot. And then I'll probably set the rest of my face with um, a brush. Righty, and now what I've ended up actually trying to do just a little bit just because I think it blends out just a little bit more I don't know um, I go back and forth honestly but I'm gonna go in with these two little shades and I'm gonna be using this um, this is also a crown brush but for some reason they never label these things so I don't have any idea what kind of brush this is so I'm gonna pick up these two shades and I'm a slice and dice underneath my cheekbone just a little bit and then feather it up almost like in a V formation just to kind of get rid of this little like five head I got going on the side of my head for some reason my face just just does that And then I pick up this little brush and I'm going to be lightening it with these two shades. You can tell how much I use this yellow shade. It's like almost gone. Just pack this up underneath my eye. Down the bridge of my nose. Just everywhere where we kind of put the concealer. So brighten it. Make me look a little bit more awake. And now I'm going to go with bronzer because I feel like sometimes if I go in with a contour at the end, it kind of doesn't blend as much. So I kind of wanted to try this today. I'm using my typical Vanity Planet brush from their little kit. And then I am going in with the Beauty Basics Bronze Essentials. This is like my tan bronzer that I use. It's very dark, very warm but very delish. And I'm going to run this up underneath where we added that and it's just going to kind of diffuse it out a little bit. Even though there's some semblance of a shadow there that wasn't there before. And I think that just kind of diffuses it a little better, honestly. I'm actually going to pick up, well, I have another brush. I think all of my <laughs> blush brushes are in like different containers. So I'm taking the Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Love. And I'm just going to kind of pop this on the cheeks. I'm using the um, Reezy Anastasia um, highlight and I'm just going to douse this on the cheekbones. All right, now we're going to finish up the eyes and then I'll put on my eyebrows and everything. I'm not going to do fake lashes. I'm not feeling it today. I just want to go with some comfortable makeup. So I'm going to go in with those two transition shades that we tried before, the Attic and Titania, which are these two like grayishy pinks. And I'm just going to buff those underneath the lash line using this really dense pencil brush 
from Modern Minerals. This is the You Are Gorgeous brush or line, whichever. And then now I'm going to pick up Electra and Phoenix with that same brush. And we have that. And so actually I'm going to darken it up just slightly even more. There's the earth shade in this palette, which is that dark brown. And I'm gonna take a different pencil brush, one with a little bit more of a point to it. I'm gonna run this up underneath this outer edge. Set a tiny bit more darkness to it. A little bit more smoke. All right, and now I'm gonna do my brows and then we'll come back. And I'll have my eyelashes done as well. And I'm just using my Tarte Tartus Lip Paint. And then for brows, I'm using my favorite or most commonly used. It's so easy to use. It's the Brow Gal. Um, and then I'll be right back. Okay, now the eyebrows and eyelashes are put on. And last thing, last, I'm going to be sweating on my lip. And then we'll almost be done. I'm using Alyssa by ColourPop. It's just this really pretty, like, pink, little baby pink shade. Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching this little tutorial where I just, like, sat down and kind of got ready for church and everything. Um, I hope y'all enjoy this. I do want to do another look with this palette for sure, especially since it was so expensive. I want to get my money's worth. I want to make videos out of it. They're really good shadows. Um, I'm in love with how sparkly this came out. I'm not saying you need this palette because you obviously do not. You can make this look with all sorts of things. I just wear my makeup like all day and I love that this makeup does not budge from what this is. Like... I wore this um, similar of an eye look. It means that when I'm a makeup artist, people actually trust my opinion because they see my makeup has lasted all day. And that really excites me because it helps me do my job more effectively. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And uh, go follow me on Instagram. Um, I found it made up and cutting up just like this channel. And I am also have a page on Facebook, but I pretty much update that with more of my like video updates and um, more of like my hairs, hairs, <laughs> hairstyles. Let's try this one again. I'm a hairstylist, therefore the hairstyles that I do, not my hairs. No, but <laughs> anyway, um, thank you all so much for tuning in. I will see y'all next time. Happy Easter and uh, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.